video we are fabricating a u clasp for that we need a 0.7 mm stainless steel wire cutter universal plier marker so we have this small segment of wire since u clasp which is also called as a full clasp has a u and the width of the u is equal to the major distal diameter of the tooth so first we'll bend a u a u equal to the major distal width of the tooth now we'll be giving into proximal bends we'll be giving into proximal bends at the mesial and the distal interproximal area these interproximal retentive bends are given holding the wire and bending the arms outside at the marked point we have bent the retentive bends in the mesial and the distal interproximal area can be visualized from the side view can be visualized from the side view now we will be we will be adapting the interproximal wires so that it passes now we will be adapting the interproximal wires so that it passes through the occlusal embrasure marking the location of the occlusal embrasure will will give a uh, acute bend at the point of occlusal embrasure now we have given occlusion bends at the occlusion embrasure we will be gradually adapting these palatal arms palatal retentive tags after adapting the palatal retentive tag after adapting the palatal retentive tags we will give mesially facing retentive tags this is a finely adapted this is a finely adapted u class you can see that this u class engages both the mesial and the distal proximal undercut and passes through the bucco cervical prominence the advantage of this u class is that the, it is relatively easy and less complex in design but the disadvantage is that that these u clasp cannot be adjusted and second disadvantage is that since it engages the below the bucco cervical undercut so these can be given only in fully erupted teeth